Alright, so, my name is Jacob, this is my first YouTube video ever, like, ever, like, literally ever, um, honestly, I, if you're, if you watch this, you're, you're so cool, because not many people are probably gonna ever watch this, but, um, I, I, I really just want to talk about God. You know? He's cool. He's a cool guy. He loves you. Not many people love me, but God does, which is pretty cool. He's such, he's such a beast, you know? When you look at, like, all the world and everything, he's, he's a beast. Giraffes, when you look at giraffes, you're like, who thought, yeah, I'm going to give them long necks? I, I mean, God's such a beast. You you look at what else? You look at whales. There are some whales that are huge. You're like, dude, who thought of these? And God thought of them. He's so awesome. And then, I mean, it's crazy. Let's see what else. What else is there that's like great? I'm just now thinking of this stuff. So, what else? I mean, alligators. Who? I mean, who thinks of this stuff? Those little seahorse thing? Who thinks of seahorses? I mean, first we have a horse on land, and then somebody's like, dude, let's go grab a horse and put it in the water. God is so cool. And when just thinking about that kind of stuff, we're like, well, who thinks of this stuff? And I wouldn't have thought about this stuff. And God, God thought about it. He's like, yeah, I want to make a horse and put it in the water, and we're going to call it a seahorse, and then, I don't even know what seahorses do, I'm sure they have a very vital role in the ocean, I'm very sure they do, and, and, and we look, and kind of putting it into our lives, we're thinking, well, if I'm trying to make a plan for my life, and, and then I look, and I see somebody who created the whole world, created absolutely everything, who created seahorses, and put them in the water. And, and I'm thinking, I want something. And so, I want somebody like that to, to, to have the plans of my life. Because I almost want to be a seahorse now. That I'm really thinking about it. I want my life to be a seahorse life. I, I've never thought about this at all until just now. But really, I want to have a seahorse life because I want to have a life... That everybody looks at and you're like, where does this guy come from? You know, where, what, what is this? And then, I mean, we look at, we look at what God does and it's awesome. You know, it's amazing. And then we're like, well, I want that in my life. And this isn't, I mean, I had stuff on here. I had a paper. I had a Bible. I had stuff and then I'm getting to, there I'm like, my first video, I'm like, dude, I don't even want to say this stuff anymore. Because God is... It's so weird, and now I'm probably going to start, like, stuttering and stuff and not even know, because I'm just going with it now. I mean, it's, it's, I'm pumped. I'm pumped now, you know. We're talking about seahorses. Seahorses. Where does, when's the last time you had a conversation about seahorses? And if you're a seahorse enthusiast, hey, you're my biggest fan. You need to be my biggest fan if you, if you love seahorses. But, anyway, we look at, and we look at the average cookie-cutter life, you know, the average person, and and nothing really sticks out. And then we look at these amazing Francis Chan, who is such a beast. We look at him, and we're like, Francis Chan is almost like a seahorse of this world. And, and we look at like John Piper, who's such a beast. I mean, we look, we look at all these people, and and then we're we're almost like, I don't want to be normal anymore. I want to be like a seahorse. And and honestly, how do we do that? How do we get and above normal life, how do we, because normal life is, what, let's see, what is the normal life? The normal life is bills, being miserable, you know, going horrible, a whole week, that whole weeks of just work and work and being miserable and then riding home and getting gas and all this stuff. I bet Francis Chan or has somebody pump gas for him, you know? And, and I mean, we look at all this and, and you think, the average person does this 
I don't want to do this. I want something more. And when you say that, how do you get something more? How do you? How does the normal person, how, how are they different from like a famous pastor or something like, I mean, you know, we all have that one person in our mind where like, dude, that guy loves Jesus. That guy's crazy. You know, he's a, he's a beast. And how do you do that? I, the only thing I can think of is letting God do it and not you. Because we try to do so much and it really just doesn't work. Because our lives are sinful and, and it's of the world and everything of the world, it really just doesn't work out. I honestly think that, I mean, everything over promises and under delivers. I mean, really, how does it, I mean, you're always chasing something that's literally faster than you. I mean, we see that with addictions and and money, we see it with relationships, you're always wanting and you're chasing something and you look and it's always a little bit faster than you and you can never get it. You never, I mean, we look at sports stars and they're like, dude, I have so much money but I want more. I mean, if I was making even a million dollars a year, I wouldn't be too worried about making 1.2 million. I mean, really. And we look at this and, and we look at people's lives and and we say I don't want that I don't want that for my life I want something more and if you could come in and you look at this video you're like yeah he's a preacher he's pretty uh, I ain't mean, this is so all this is God literally like breathing I mean God's amazing and how how do we get that life you know and so if you say well I'm gonna submit everything to God and I want I want God to control my life and how do you do that you know you it's it's kind of hard but now kind of going back into what I was kind of planning I really don't know if this is all gonna work I am not a preacher hopefully I will be one day but I'm not a preacher right now you know I haven't gone to like Bible college and paid a whole bunch of money and then like people being like dude you know everything about the Bible now and you read the Bible like 47 times and I haven't done that People that do that though are awesome. They're they're like sea turtles, cause we're just talking. There's a turtle on land. There's a turtle in the water. We're gonna call him. See, God's awesome. You know, who thinks of this stuff? Who puts a turtle on land and on, underwater? Who does that? You know, now, what if, what if fish walk? That'd be so cool. But obviously, it's not cool enough, cause God did not want that. Unless you're like a merman. I mean, mermans don't exist, but that's probably what it would be. Anyways. We, we look at, at our lives and everything and we're saying, dude, I don't want this anymore. I don't want the sinful stuff that I do. I don't, what do I, how do I get rid of it? And probably a verse that most Christians know is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, and whoever would believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And that's pretty much saying God loves you. I mean, he so, I mean, the God that created seahorses, he created seahorses, and he loves you. I mean, that is awesome. That is so awesome. How have we not acknowledged the creation of seahorses and God and that he loves you? I mean, from now on, people are going to start doing that. It, it's so cool. Seahorses. Seahorses. Somebody created seahorses. It's so cool. I, I want a seahorse life. And and so we look at we look at John 3, 16, and, and we say, well, Obviously, God loves you, and that's so awesome. And He gave, He gave, He gave up something for you. What gives up stuff for you? Money doesn't give up. Money doesn't go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give up two cents so that I can have Jacob. Not, it doesn't say a a cigarette. It's not like yeah, I'll give up something that a cigarette would give up so that I can be with Jacob. And it doesn't happen, you know. And God's the only thing that's like, dude, I want you. You don't have to do anything to have me. I've already done it all for you. And so when it says he gave his only begotten son, and whoever would believe in him shall not perish, would just die, but have eternal life. And so we look, and, and God's like, it's so simple. All you have to do is believe, and you're going to have eternal, you're going to all. You're going to spend your whole life with me. And that's, it's so cool. And, and we we really, we kind of underestimate and, and put on the shelf what God has done for us because we, we get so confused and distracted by, by the things of this world and, and then it comes and disappoints us. And, and God doesn't disappoint. God created sea, um, seahorses. He does not disappoint, you know? 
Um, so, really, all I can think to say now is you need to live for God, really. If you're not, well, if you're not, I would literally like for you to send me a message and on, on YouTube, if that's how YouTube works. I don't know how YouTube works, really. Kind of like an old man, but I would really like... Really, for you to send me something like, dude, I want to know about this God that created seahorses. I want to know about this God that sent his son to die on the cross for me. And really, I'm, I'm speaking to you right now. This God sent seahorses. He, he has seahorses underwater. He sent his son to die on the cross. He created this whole world. I mean, who thinks of some of the stuff that's created? And everything works perfectly. The sun comes out each day and then goes away so we can sleep. That's so cool. And we look we look at that and we say, there's no way that whoever did that loves me. And it, it's true. Whoever did that, which is God, he loves you so much. He loves you so, so, so much. And it's almost crazy to say, well, I'm ignoring that. I don't want that relationship because it's going to be hard. You know, it's going to be difficult um, I'm going to have to put down some stuff because when we, nothing good will ever come without a struggle. And God is awesome. He's amazingly good. So there's going to be amazingly hard struggles, but God's with us through that. And it's kind of hard going, well, I'm going to be living out my whole life. Or something's going to happen at the end. And kind of what I think about that is this, um, this kid at, at school months ago when we had school, he, he was a real country boy, you know, I mean, the stereotypical country boy. And he he came up to me one day and he was like, "Dude, why why do you live out your life for God and and all this?" And he said, "What if what's the point? And you get to what if you get to the end of your life and there's not even a God and you're sitting in the ground like dead?" And I I, I was like I was taken aback almost by it and I said, "Well, what do you plant?" He said, "Corn." So obviously you plant corn and he and I was like, "Well." How do you know that it's going to grow? And he said, well, usually it grows. It doesn't always. It kind of depends on the soil and the seeds, if corn has seeds, and the weather and all this. And, and I said, so it doesn't always grow, does it? He said, no. And I said, so how do you know it will grow? He said, well, you kind of just have to believe in it. You have to believe in the land that you have. And, and I said, well, that's kind of like what it is with God. You can't see it until the end, but you have to have faith to know that something good is going to come. And faith is faith is a crazy thing, and it's kind of living in advance what you'll only understand in reverse. Because if you're going to take on the life that God has for you, you've got to put down some crazy things, you know. It's, it's awesome, though, knowing that my life will have purpose, and that when I die, people are going to remember me for good reasons. That's so cool, you know. So that's probably all I'm going to say. And I'm going to try to upload this to YouTube. I don't know. The YouTube, you need to get with me. Like, the official YouTube, you need to come and meet me. So that we can have a conjoinment about seahorses. And if you're watching this, I want you to live a seahorse life. A life that people are like, where does this come from? I want you to be different. Not in a bad way, in a good way. I want you to go crazy for God because that's awesome. Um, that's probably all I had to say, and obviously this probably was not the best video you've ever seen. If it is, then high five. Yes. But that's all I'm going to say. I'm gonna, if this is a success and goes on to YouTube, I'll try to upload new YouTube videos soon. But that's all I got to say. Jesus loves you. So, he created seahorses too.